I'm gonna open up the first wave of The Simpsons action figures from 1990 by Mattel. This will be just after season one of the show. Made them very popular. We'll check them all out and talk about some of the early Simpsons stuff that make these a big nostalgia fun factor point for me. But first I can show some that I already had as a kid, which it would be Maggie here. Maggie originally came with like a little scooter thing, uh, but I've don't seem to have that anymore sadly but we can see <laughs> she was just uh just has rotating arms and head and her body's just molded the peg probably helped her stay on the scooter and they have soft heads although maggie's is small enough that it doesn't really squish in she looks pretty solid this would be a tough sell as its own figure <laughs> in the packaging though just maggie she didn't just come with marge or somebody interesting choice to have maggie as a separate figure and as a kid i had Bartman, which is just kind of an alternate appearance for Bart that they included in this first wave. He has a removable cape, but it's just a hard plastic piece that just clips to the neck. It's kind of out in an action sort of pose. He also had a very tiny slingshot, which surprisingly survived. I kind of credit that to how well they formed the hands on the figure to hold it. Very tight fit, so I never lost Bart's slingshot. Here we can see the squishy heads. Woo, man. I don't know why they always sold the Bartman look so much early on. I know I was very excited to play the, the Bartman Radioactive Man kind of NES game back in the day, but probably one of the worst NES games of the group, just because it's kind of weirdly hard at the beginning. But there we can see the 1990 that they were made. Pretty good shape. Also, we have Bart in the blue shirt. Typically on the show, he's got the red. Kind of interesting early artwork and commercials and things. Oh, like a Butterfinger. Oh, now I really want to eat one. Mm, Butterfinger. <laughs> so he's just going to be a kind of five point, you know, legs only go a little bit up. Foot pegs and the arms could probably go all the way around. Simple, but action figures of the time that the show is taking off. The only non-Simpson family character in the set is Nelson. Well, because Bart was so popular, they want to have like an enemy for Bart. He's just gonna have the simple, but he has a little bit of a torso movement here. But the legs are pretty limited because of that. He has a bit of a chunk there, but mostly in decent shape. They really nailed the 3D appearance of the cartoons early on with these. Nothing weird looking here, just looks like full Nelson. Now he did come with a trash can, because that was kind of famously the early episode putting Bart in the trash can, rolling him down. I think in the package it came apart, because it was too big. Uh, so you kind of have this half and half where they go together. But it makes him a nice trash can you can stuff Bart inside of. It's got kind of the handles molded and stuff, so a couple of special dents and everything. No lid though, but no other characters extra besides the main family. Who do we open up first here of the on-card figures? You can definitely see some price changes here starting out $6.99, dropping to the much better price of $6.97. <laughs> Then the clearances start happening, 349, even down to 238. Surely the ones I had as a kid were clearance, the only reason we would have got them. Let's go with Bart here, very yellowing on the window of this one, as you can see. So might as well open him up, right? So he had a price tag here, got rid of that. Just artwork on the back of the characters, showing which figures are available, not actual figure pictures. By gosh, we're gonna open Bart. He comes with five cool things to say. Oh, he's cool, huh? We can also see his packaging even has just the green shirt, which is another weird appearance from just commercials and other merchandise. But the figure is in his classic orange. And he has a skateboard. Did every 90s toy come with a skateboard, I feel like? Got some wheels, but he has his own little Bart logo on it. There's a peg to stand in. So the real gimmick of these, I didn't have any of those old ones, seem to have lost it, but they had these word bubble things, and they have a hole in their head. You kind of poke it in there, and it makes it look like they're saying some sayings here. Uh, it's just kind of open in the backs and kind of push it out. And they have these little word bubble cards. Go for it, dude. Haha, <laughs> hilarious. Comes with the classic I Caramba. Cowabunga, man. Man, these are painful to say nowadays. Knock it off, Lisa. Okay. Don't have a cow, man. Ha ha ha, my gosh. They're so funny. Didn't really get it because it's not like this was a comic strip that got made into a show. So. <laughs> 
I guess maybe at the time or now I could display them with these, but mostly I don't really care about the word bubble things. I just want the figure. Right here we got Bart. His legs can only go up so far because of his shirt. Can't go back too much. Arms can go all the way around. <laughs> Squishy head. Whoa. But he got his accurate kind of color with the orange shirt and stuff. Big smiling face. Whoa. Great one to have old Bart. Bart Simpson used to be the coolest cartoon mascot of his time. Popularity waned just a little bit these days. Of course, he can go on the old skateboard, skate around. Looks like he has the same hands. Bartman, or El Barto, or whatever you want to call his kind of masked form. So technically, we could really outfit Bart with his slingshot and the skateboard and have a really nice full Bart there. Cool. Bartman kind of looks cool on his own with his cape and stuff. So Bart getting all the good accessories. Stick with the kids here. We got Lisa with five phrases to bug brothers. <laughs> They were kind of pushing that they were just like the typical family, but kind of developed their own characters as the show progressed. You know, they're kind of yellowing bubbles, so nothing of value lost there. We gotta open it up to show it off here. Got the saxophone, no other accessory would be needed for Lisa, although it's not in maybe a vac metallicized like gold shiny. They just went with blue. So, eh. We got some music that she's just playing her saxophone. Ow, quit it. Let's watch Krusty the Clown. Bart, you're just like Chili the Elf who cannot love. That's specific. Oh, brother. They're her famous phrase. <laughs> I remember when Lisa would always say, oh, brother. Oh, she's got the uh, pearls are kind of their own piece. The head doesn't want to move here. We got the arms, which are kind of in a weird position just because she can hold that saxophone. Oh, she has swivel here. And the legs kind of move a little bit, but her skirt piece is kind of separate, so it kind of blocks. I feel like this was an odd choice to just have yellow underneath. Really need to make her butt like red, like the dress, to blend in. Now it just seems awkward. Drop ball there. Got shoes and she has foot pegs as well. Not that she could just jump on the skateboard or maybe whatever else. Let's see, we have the saxophone that has a kind of peg here and she has a round hold hand. That'll just slide into the hand like that. She's, she's kind of playing her saxophone there, although I think it's a little heavy. Looks like it touches the ground and kind of holds her up. Big saxophone on Lisa. Yeah, they didn't do the special for Lisa there, but at least she has something of her character. The saxophone. Squishy head. Goo. Oh, there we go. It was just kind of stuck. She's got a turn. It was just kind of the paint app. Seemed like it was sticking there. But nice there. I think she's just a little fragile the way she's put together with the skirt and the back piece and these arms that can't really move much. I would be careful with Lisa. Just to show with Maggie, that pretty small size. Maggie might just be kind of big. <laughs> so many price tags. I always like to see all the price tags on stuff there. Marge with five things mom say. <laughs> Although her bubble stayed uh, decently colored, but I say we rip it open anyway. We got a tray of cookies, not cupcakes, like was a, kind of a weird trend there in early Simpsons. I guess that was probably easier to mold. She has an apron for the kitchen. Oh boy. I'd rather be bowling. I bet Homer bought her this one. Uh, <laughs> nobody cares. What's that smell? Her famous phrase. And her other highly powerful catchphrases. Yummy and nutritious. What? Look, I made your favorite. Egg salad! No. There, there, Homer. Well, that one's fairly used. Play friendly, everyone. <sighs> this is why these are not particularly special. Get Marge here. Seems a little short. Here we just have a hinge. The legs are just this piece. Woo woo. Uh, but she has like her pearl thing with the red. And the arms, although they're kind of bent in so she can't spin them all the way around. Head kind of blocks that. And the head should turn, yes. And she's squishy too. Goo. Cool texture on the hair. She just has one round hand. They have all these pegs so she can just kind of hold it with one. Just put the other hand up to make it look like she's holding him. Here's the cookies, her famous accessory for some reason. A little bit of a waste there. But they had to give her something. And the apron looks like it just kind of 
pinches on there, but kind of a joke thing covers up her classic green dress. So I don't know why you would even really want to display it with that accessory either. Lame on the accessories, but gotta have a Marge figure. And since you can't move the feet, check. Oh, she can stand okay though, even though you can't adjust the feet. So they must be pretty level. So that's good, because sometimes that's a problem when you can't manually change the footing of a figure. Oh, why am I last? Homer has five fatherly phrases, like, do I smell cupcakes? Do I ever? His is starting to yellow a bit. But I wouldn't have stopped opening it either way. It's got the cupcake phrase, no problemo. What is this, the Terminator? Oh Marge, I love your snack treats. His famous line. Where are you from, the planet cornball? Another classic Homer phrase. Why you a little? There's a, there's a good one right there. No dough. Dropped ball there. Homer with a big smile. Got his hair perfectly detailed out. Squishy head. Rear. Very stubby short arms there. Got kind of the punch hand like the uh, Simpsons arcade game. Just always, the rest all like had weapons. Like Lisa had the jump rope, Marge had a vacuum cleaner, Bart had his skateboard. Homer was just like, dog punch. You can move all the way there. Of course the legs can only go up a little bit. Can't go back too far. Decent gut size there. He has all this nuclear power plant accessory stuff. Like he's got like, the glove, but it just kind of snaps over. Well, it didn't even really snap into place. He's got the gauntlet. Reality can be whatever I make it. Mmm, reality. <laughs> he has the kind of nuclear rod with a kind of supposed to be in like a pincher thing, but it's just kind of a solid piece. That kind of goes through the thing to hold. That will help hold the glove in place that way. Before he was the safety inspector, he's actually messing around moving nuclear rods around in the plant. Ouch. Now this isn't the inanimate carbon rod that's very famous. Here's his protective gear, no clear plastic for the eyes, it's just a solid piece. Snugly fits on there. It's kind of like work Homer, but meh. Kind of got his safety job like season one anyway. So you didn't really see him with this stuff other than in the intro. Oh, I see why they added it as accessories. There's also going to be vehicles for this line. There's like a Homer work vehicle for the nuclear power plant. Didn't come out. Even if it did, I'd probably skip that one because you don't have like Mr. Burns or some of the workmates with Frith Homer to even bother with that. There's also supposed to be like the family car, although it was kind of like a convertible, but that just made it easier for the figures to get down in. I would have got that if that got it released, but it did not. Looks like it kind of blew apart and had some features. There is kind of a vehicle in the set. We got the couch and the boob tube, the television. They're both on wheels. So technically, technically it's a vehicle. Rolling. So the idea with the TV, it had the same sort of thing with the word bubbles that you could slide in some different appearances for the TV. And then it had the spot where the TV with, you know, what was being said on the TV. Again, I don't really care about that. Underneath, it's just like static. So that looks pretty cool. So they got their TV with the kind of rabbit ear antenna from way back then. TVs used to be thick like this, children. But it's kind of cool that it rolls then too. There's like foot pegs like Bart's or something. He's up on the TV for whatever reason. The classic couch, four spots so the family can sit here. But it has a little trigger in the back here. Because if you sit on the end, whoa! Little ejector seat there. Why? Because it had to have some play function, I guess. I don't know. But that'll make a good display. You can put them all on the couch. Can they sit very well? I don't know. Problem is with the TV in front of them, you can't see the TV. Now Lisa's probably the hardest one to get up here. Well, she kind of stays, but then if you display it with the TV in front, then you can't see him. You got the TV in the main. But another unreleased figure would have been Krusty the Clown, which would have been awesome looking. But alas, they didn't get to any other characters. Mostly there's just versions of Bart were planned and a couple alternate like Homer and Marge. I guess there's a few international releases that did come out. Just alternate versions of Bart, different costumes. Then there was a mail away Bart. Just a different shirt. So nothing amazing here. I got the main family. That's what I wanted to have out of this. Just kind of the figures of the time period. Just really kind of cool and retro looking. There's been a lot of other Simpsons figures since this. But I just like this first set. Definitely the ones I always wanted to have as a kid. But never got to finish the full set, I guess. And now that'll fit in with a lot of my sweet 90s action figures that I like to collect here. And if that's what you like to see, then get subscribed. And you can check out the playlist. I have one for just basic 90s stuff that's kind of one-off 
playoffs, but I have a few specific playlists you can try to find of some certain lines I get a little deeper into. Open old and new collectibles here, so hopefully I'll get to see you in the next video.